Hi, and in this video, we're gonna talk about all the ways that you can make a man melt with your mouth. Buckle up. Hi there, Matt Schaefer, your dating relationship and empowerment coach. And today we're gonna to talk about a lot of ways that you can make a man literally melt by using your mouth. And we're gonna start up high and work our way down the body. You definitely wanna stay with us to the end on this one because we are working our way down. This is definitely the raciest video that I've done yet and I'm really excited to share it with you because these are straight out of you know what men actually enjoy and what actually makes them crazy. Take a second, hit the subscribe button and let's dive in. Now the first way that you can really make a man crazy with your mouth is by focusing on his ears. Like I said, we're starting up high. Biting on his earlobe is a really big thing. Gently, of course. You don't want to be crazy with it, but biting on his earlobe, using your tongue, going around the outside of his ear and even into his ear. I mean, I know for, for me, it's a huge trigger point. And for a lot of men, I know it's a really powerful erogenous zone. Any sort of ear stuff can really get a man very turned on and really get him very excited. <laughs> and so also another spot is to actually go back behind his ear, right above his collarbone there. That skin right behind the ear is super sensitive as well. Just by focusing on the ear and not just using your tongue and your lips, but with hot air blowing into his ear and whispering into his ear, you know, what it is that you want, how much you want him and how much you're desiring him. That's super, super, super hot <laughs> to most guys. If you really start with his ears and use your mouth and use your tongue and use your breath in a really sensual way, you will turn him on. The next way you can use your mouth to make him melt is simply by kissing him in a more sensual, more erotic way. <laughs> so what do I mean by that? There's so many different ways to kiss your man because kissing truly is a form of communication. And I like to think of it like a dance, right? One of the ways you can really kiss a man, turn him on and make him crazy is by kissing him very lightly or even kissing him deeply but then pulling away and allowing there to be just a little gap of space between your mouth and his mouth so that he can really feel that like electricity, the space between his mouth and your mouth and then just take your tongue and just flick it across his lips, you know, and just make it like you're teasing him with it. Very, very, very hot. Another way to use your mouth and kissing to be really hot with him is to give him your tongue and want his tongue as well. So really like using your tongues with each other. Don't just like stick your tongue in his mouth, right? You want to gauge a man on that because some men like a lot of tongue and some men don't. So it's kind of up to you to sort of probe pun intended, <laughs> with your tongue and see what he likes. See if you notice him getting more aroused or more turned on when you give him more. And then, you know, like invite him to do the same to you and gauge how much tongue play you two are both into because sometimes, you know, you just avoid it altogether when a lot of men are really into that. But at the same time, you don't want to give him too much if he's not into it. But using your tongue and dancing your tongues back and forth can really be really, really hot. Another kissing technique is to use your teeth and bite his bottom lip gently, not hard, but just bite it a little bit and pull it a little bit. That's that sort of like aggressive, really attractive thing that really is going to make a man crazy. And another thing you can do, and this is just a way to sort of think about kissing, is to think of it like a dance, right? When, you, when you're dancing, you've got someone who's leading and someone who's following, and the two of you are sort of moving together. So you can do the same thing with kissing. You can kiss very passionately and then sort of pull back and let him come to you, and then kiss very shallowly and very gently and very softly and pull back and sort of allow your lips to sort of be close to each other but not even touching. And you can use lots of different textures and intensities with kissing. Allow it to be a dance back and forth and let him lead some of the time and then let you lead a little bit of the time. But it's really hot, especially in polarizing, especially for him, if you sort of like let him be more of the aggressor in kissing and you sort of tease him and invite him to be more direct with you when it comes to kissing. If you can just think of kissing like a dance and sort of invite invite him to lead, <laughs> it's going to be very, very hot, very, very polarizing for him. 
Now, another powerful way to really make him melt using your mouth is to kiss your way down his body. So as he's getting more turned on and you know that you want to give him a blowjob or you're, you're moving towards oral sex, don't just dive right down for the bread basket. <laughs> Work your way slowly with your mouth down his body. Go down his neck, down his chest. Suck on his nipples a little bit. Guys are into that. They may not admit it, they may not say it, but they like it. And slowly kiss your way down his body. Let him get anticipatory about it. Let him get a little crazy about it. Take your time. Kiss your way across his belly button and down his waist. Don't just dive right in. And even then when you get right around his, his penis, don't, don't immediately just dive onto it. Kiss around his thighs. Go all around it. Some, that's actually some of the most sensitive skin on a man's body and we don't even know how much we like it <laughs> until you do it. So give it a shot. Kiss your way down his body. Take your time and just let him build that anticipation of what's coming. Now this next tip is for, for oral sex. And this is something that's really interesting. You've probably never done it before. Take a little bit of coconut oil and put it in your mouth before giving him a blowjob. This is really powerful because it acts as a natural lubricant and it makes the whole experience even more sensual and more fluid, right? Pun intended, right, for, for the man. So put a little coconut oil and really kiss kiss your way around him and, and when you're going down on him, use a little coconut oil in your mouth. And it doesn't have to be just for the blowjob. You can put coconut oil in your mouth and use it for kissing his body and for everything. It's just one of those substances that's, it smells great, it tastes great, it, it keeps a lot of smoothness and a lot of viscosity on the skin. It's, uh, it's really, really hot. So use a little coconut oil in your blowjob and see what happens. Now this next tip is related to using your mouth, but it's what to do with your hands. While you're going down on a man, here's the thing, a man wants to feel like you really want him, right? Like you're really craving him, that you're really into the process of giving him a blowjob. So one of the ways you can do that is by grabbing him while you're doing it, sort of pulling him into you. So grabbing him by his butt or grabbing his hips and sort of pulling him up into you while you're going down on him super, super, super hot, because that's gonna make a man feel like you're really, like you're primally enjoying the experience of giving him a blowjob, and it's very, very, very hot for him to feel like you're grabbing him and like you can't get enough of him. Now it's time for some blowjob tips. First off, the twist. Twisting your head around his penis when you're giving him a blowjob, very powerful. Licking the bottom of the shaft and just licking your way up, super, super, super hot for a man. You know, men love to feel different types of sensations, different types of motions and experiences in that process. And the more you can do that, the more you can mix things up for a man and sort of tune into what he's really enjoying, the more he's going to melt for you. And also when you're giving a man a blowjob, don't forget about his balls. Don't forget about even the area below them, right? The, I guess they call it the taint. <laughs> like all that area, it's all super, super, super sensitive. And a lot of guys, they don't even know how sensitive that area is. Maybe you can introduce him to that. That's one of those ways you can use your mouth to make him melt that he might not even realize he liked until you do it. Take the initiative, seal your response. One of the most powerful ways to make a man melt using your mouth is with your words. <laughs> and what I mean by this is to ask. Ask for his come. Ask for what you want. Tell him where you want it. I'm telling you, there's nothing hotter to a man than to feel a woman like really powerfully ask him to uh, give her what it is that she wants. That's super, super, super arousing for a man. So just think of all the ways you can use your mouth. One of the most powerful ways you can use it to turn a man on and make him melt is with your words. Isn't that great? Now another powerful thing you can do with your mouth to make him melt is to not just use a blowjob as foreplay for sex. And this is something that I think a lot of women don't recognize. A lot of times a blowjob just is, is foreplay to get a man fully aroused so that you guys can have sex. And maybe a man has learned to think of a blowjob that way. But here's the thing, a blowjob can be a standalone experience. And so if you can actually just get him off with it, 
that can be really powerful because it means that you were willing to just go all the way with it and you wanted that, like you wanted that experience with him. And that's something that can make a man feel really safe. It can make him feel really special. And it can make him feel like you giving him pleasure isn't just a means to an end, isn't just a means to you guys having sex, but it can be a standalone experience. And that's really powerful as far as you deepening the sexual chemistry between you and your man. And lastly, and this is a bonus tip, try waking your man up with a blowjob. There's no better alarm clock in the world than waking up to a woman giving you pleasure. I'm telling you, you want him to be f completely a puddle for you and putty in your hands, wake him up with a blowjob and he will be completely enamored with you. I hope these tips landed for you and that you really realize that you can use your mouth to create profound pleasure and profound experiences with your partner, okay? So there you go. There are some powerful ways that you can make a man melt with your mouth and those are just a handful. There's so many more out there, but really a lot of that's gonna come down to communication. So start with these, see what he likes, and then from there, ask him more and tell him what you like. And that's going to just really deepen the physical connection between the two of you and the emotional one as well. So get out there, have fun, and I'll see you next time on my YouTube channel. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, take a second and do it now. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.